RBTI, which is Reams Biological Theory of Ionization. Has anybody heard of that before, the RBTI method? Handful of people. So this is a very uh, uh, interesting um, but effective method that I have seen a handful of people benefit from in a relatively short period of time, including myself. And it's a uh, system that uh, pretty much anybody can uh, do uh, for themselves, for their family, for, them, for, for their friends, to kind of look at where their uh, biochemistry is at with pretty simple uh, devices, methods, and some basic math. You don't need a, a background in biology or chemistry or anything like that, although you will learn some of those basics going through this process. Um, Reams, I don't know how long ago he died, but 85. in 85. And then there was a gentleman named uh, Beto who had produced a book that Reams said that is the definitive book that people need to understand for it. And Beto, he died about a year ago or so, uh, sometime last year, and uh, Katya had been uh, good friends with him for a long time. And she w is probably considered the leading authority on the RBTI method out of anybody um, in the U.S. or international. And she has been using it uh, religiously for, and, and very in, a, in the most pure way possible for uh, probably a little over 40 years. Raised her children on it herself and has helped thousands of people over the years. Um, she has a pretty extensive background, used to own a hardware store. She built her own house, nailed every subfloor in it herself. I mean, she's got a lot of skills. So, uh, and she's local, uh, thankfully for us. She's in St. Mary's, Idaho, which from Spokane is about an hour and a half or so. Help welcome uh, Katya Gwynn. According to Doc Reams, all diseases start with one or more of the vital organs which are controlled by the central nervous system, chiefly the liver, but then spreads to other organs because the liver is the one organ that manufactures the skeleton of the amino acid for all the other organs, and the amino acid is the building block that we live on. So the numbers of the Reams equation help us to zero in on the specific location of the loss of energy in the body. Reams taught that mineral deficiency is the cause of all disease. The higher the specific gravity, the less energy you may get out of your food. The lower the specific gravity, below the optimal range of the RBTI test, the faster the food passes through the system and it does not have time to take energy properly from the food. The numbers show what organs are losing the energy. As I move forward here, you're asked to put aside your preconceived notions and definitions and beliefs and think with me within a unique unorthodox paradigm. A unique paradigm for addressing human health. After all, the success that's been made in the conventional way of thinking in the matter of degenerative disease is embarrassingly slight. Biological ionization is the study of how energy becomes matter and how manner, matter becomes energy on a continuous basis. According to Reams, RBTI offers a way to measure the energy in elements, compounds, and biological systems including in humans. The loss of energy in humans is the beginning of disease. The idea of the entire equation is whether a body has too much carbohydrate or not enough, whether the body is too acid or too alkaline, whether the body is retaining too much salts or not enough, whether the body is throwing out the worn-out cells or not throwing out the worn-out cells, whether or not the proteins are being digested, whether there's too much manganese or not enough, too much iron or not enough, whether there's too much iodine or not enough, whether there's too much arsenic, potassium, phosphates, or not enough of all the minerals and elements. RBTI is based on frequency principles. Reams referred to frequency as the periodic motion of electrons about atoms of molecules. 
Specifically, it refers to the time for one revolution or period. It's the common denominator or energy exchange ratio necessary for a living system to continue to function properly. You've heard me mention the numbers several times. What does that mean? Reams credited God Almighty with revealing to him what he called in RBTI the equation for perfect health. It looks like this. CS plus 1.5, 6.4 over 6.4, 6 to 7 C, 0 0.04 M, 3 over 3 equals pH. CS means common sense. The pH at the end means perfect health. The numbers in between are the numbers, what we call the equation. The cell debris count tells what is happening with the rate of energy exchange at all levels within the functioning cell. Remember, energy in and out of a cell and its parts has to be at a certain ratio called frequency. When it is not, the frequency will change. And a change in the ratio of mineral energy or frequency means a malfunction with cell deterioration resulting. We call it disease. Reams discovered that there's a correlation between the higher the M number and the lower the frequency. The lower the frequency, the shorter length of time the cells live and have a faster turnover rate. The result of improper digestion is the release of amino acids that are not on the frequency of the body. The liver cannot use them for making energy, building blocks, for the body, so the liver treats them as a toxin and converts them to a non-toxic, insoluble urea. Urea, however, is, not, is only non-toxic for up to 72 hours. After that, the urea breaks down into soluble urea, salts of nitrate and ammonium nitrogen. Our last two numbers. Ultimately, they will take part in aggravating the conductance of the body fluids through these soluble nitrogen salts beyond what the body can even handle. We refer here to our discussion on the C number. Nitrogen plays a unique role as a major electrolyte in nucleotide and amino acid formation. Yet excess amounts of soluble nitrogen are toxic. If the urea number is too low and protein deficiency continues too long, a potassium deficiency will develop. By weight and volume, calcium, phosphates, and potassium, in that order, are the most important minerals for human health. Remember, every RBTI program is individualized for a person's specific chemistry. Following the information provided by the numbers of the equation, we know what to recommend. That said, there are a few universal recommendations, and I want to share those with you. One of the primary RBTI recommendations for health is to drink distilled water. The highest energy water comes from the steam distillation process. No other type of water is able to carry minerals, organic minerals or colloidal minerals into the system as easily as steam distilled water. Hard water is low energy water. Minerals, inorganic minerals in hard water have taken the energy away from the water molecule in order to be carried by the water. The primary reason for consuming distilled water is that the energy that is added to water when it is steam distilled. It is very similar to charging water with radiation during the atomic power generation. The water that results has the nickname of heavy water and is also high energy water but not by the steam distillation process. 
This ability to carry minerals into the system easily is why the effect of rainwater, which is nature's distilled water, rainwater on plants or in the garden is often seen to be much greater the effect than other waters. Likewise in the human body, distilled water enhances the movement of minerals into the liver. Because the liver has to put water as well as all types of food energy on the body's own frequency. It's much easier to convert high energy water than low energy water. In the majority of cases, it's interesting to note that animals, when given a choice, will choose distilled water over any other type of water. The only time to not use distilled water is when cooking and the water is going to be thrown out such as boiling pasta. In that case, the distilled water will ionize with the minerals in the pasta, and the mineral nutrition and potential energy will be poured down the drain. Most of us know intuitively that pork's not good for us without really knowing why. Carrie Reams' research revealed that pork is toxic for us because it robs us of more energy than it gives us. That is what we call aging or disease, energy loss. It turns out that the food laws in the Old Testament of the Bible are scientifically sound. The so-called unclean meats identified in Leviticus 11 burn too hot for human digestion. Doc would illustrate by saying your lawnmower will run just fine on jet fuel for a while before it burns out. Therefore, pork and shellfish, scavenger birds of prey, and other such unclean meats identified in Leviticus 11 are strictly avoided on all RBTI recommended menus. <laughs>